Hi oh guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I know. Christmas, New Year, I had a bit of a break. Thought I deserved it after last year, but it is the start of 2024. It's the start of show season. We're kicking things off here at the Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show. I'm delighted to say C4L is here at the NEC. Now, in this video, I'm going to take you around the three halls. We're going to look at the car clubs, the traders, and the auto jumble. We're going to try and get into classic car auctions as well. But before that, I thought you might like to see a little bit behind the scenes on us bringing the car to the show. So that's coming up next. If you don't want to see that, underneath there's chapters. Hit that, that'll take you straight through to the highlights. But when I got here on Thursday and dropped this car off, I had a little sneak peek around classic car auctions. And up there, they've got not one, but two collectibles. Now, one is fairly well known. It's a black LE turbo, which was the run-out model, the celebration model of the Calibra turbo. Hidden just around the corner from it is a real gem. It's a white H-Reg Calibra. It's one of the first with that iconic red top engine in, and it's done just 33,000 miles. I'm going to take you around that car at the end of the video, but before that, Let's see the highlights and let me show you how we brought this car into the NEC on Thursday. Currently sat behind a lovely Audi Quattro, trying to take C4L into the NEC, and I don't even know if I'm at the right gate. I think I'm in here. Ooh, North 12. That, I think that, that's where I should have gone, N12. Well, I think this is the right one. That was slightly more helpful than last time when I got go left, go right, right, left, left, right, 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 straight on. Now all I need to do is find, where am I going? Uh, I can see four, six. Hello, sir. Hello. So I'm, I'm round the NEC somewhere. Where are you, do you know? Uh, six point, you get, six you point two. 7.2, four. I think I found my way in. Ha <laughs> ha, shortcut. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, nine, nine, no, nine's bad. I think I'm here, 5.5, ha ha, I found it. 5.7, you want, not 5.5. Yes, I know, but if I turn and keep going. By, by the way, Mr. Gibson, this yes. entire thing has been filmed. There's a camera in the car, which is live. So it's heard you kicking off. <laughs> right, stop, stop. Do you know how much that's going to cost me in bleep buttons? That's going to cost me a fortune now. <laughs> to quote one of my favorite films, the engine is too hot. The engine is too hot. <laughs> well, this is fun. Look at this. Noish, noish. Nice. Hey, Club Calibra. Beep, 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 beep. That thing there. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking pretty. It's broke. <laughs> What's broke, Donny? That's gone from three cylinder, four cylinders to three cylinders. Calibra! Yeah! No, yeah. No, see why when you look under on it. Oh, okay. Nearly 500 brick horsepower. Yeah. Well, it was. Well, yeah. It's now 325. So it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one behind you. Yeah. That one's got sticky gallopers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And yours needs an alternator belt. So I'm busy, 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 busy. Yeah, but mine, only one warning light came on the entire way here. And let me guess, I would petrol you to hate No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, right. Let's go and have a look around the show, shall we? Richard going around the show. So hello, Rich. Me and Richard going around the show. I'm doing video and he's doing photo. And we've stopped immediately at this stand. And you've gone for this. I like a Mark One. That's nice clean. A very clean. Look at it. Lovely. However, 
The one that I like, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a Mark V uh, Escort van, but what I really like are the... There's something about painted steels. I like that, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. It's not to everyone's taste, but what I like about it is that it's very clean, obviously well looked after, and he's done it how he wants it to without ruining it. That could be put back to standard if he wanted to. So I like that. Right, let's carry on. to have a look at this. Look how cool this is. I mean, I do, I do like tastefully modified, but that is very cool. Look at that. Just have a quick nose inside. Very cool. What do you think of that one then guys? Put your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. <coughs> For now, let's carry on. this behind me here I know it's a 1.8 diesel escort van but look at how clean that is I like things like that I love time warp stuff speaking of stick around for that Calibra how many of them have been bangerized. What do you think?
there, if you can just see over my shoulder, over there, there's a few MG Zs. Now, one, I quite like those, because Dad used to work at Longbridge, as did most of my family, but also, they did some really cool colours in them, and I saw one, and the colour of it was just amazing. I saw it on Facebook about two weeks ago, it said it was coming here, so I'm going to try and find it now. Let's go and have a look. All right, it wasn't a solid colour. I mean, that is that beautiful green, that, but it's more like these. It wasn't ZS. Look at the colour on that. Look at those. Can you imagine trying to get those coloured in? It's a Z T. There it is. Just look at the colours. What do you think? Do you like the way the colours flip? Or is solid colours better? Let me know in the comments. Personally, absolutely love it. Would love to have a car of that colour. I had a bit of a soft spot for Granadas. Have a look at this one. Look at this. How awesome is this? So this was used by the Ford Motorsport Rally Team as a chase car and service sport car back for the National Rally Championship in 78, 79. Sold in 1980 from Ford. It was used, carry on used, the service vehicle in in the new owner's motorsport career. It's taken off the road, very tired condition, stored, according to the plaque, for about 20 years. It was bought in 2018 to restore. Well, it went through full restoration. It was finished back in September 23, so a full five-year restoration. But for me, this is, this is just the ultimate Granada estate. Look at it. That is cool as I think I found my favorite car on the show. Love it. I think we've finished filming all the car clubs, but there was just one car left to film, which was this lovely Volvo behind me, which I'm gonna to cut to now. Right, Rich, stop taking photos. Come on, let's go. Stop. I like that, because that's wood. Yes, come on. Auto jumble, let's go. That was a very brief look around the auto jumble, so many parts in there, but just before we head over into the final hall, let's have a quick look around this behind, barn find section. Ooh, love a barn find. <laughs> I 
My life for me there was that transit minibus. That's mega. Right, let's head over to Classic Car Auctions and into the final hall. So just before we head into classic car auctions, let's have a look on MX-5 stand. I'm going to doorstep in because it's Roger. What are you doing, Roger? Oh my God, <laughs> right. <laughs> God, you well and truly know. So he's back as club chairman. Yes. Oh. Yeah. This is. You can't bloody. <laughs> <work>. <laughs> so you're back as club chairman. I am indeed. And this year's a big year because it's 35 years off. The, the car and 30 years of the MX-5 Owners Club and you are our favourite presenter at our rally. I've forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you good? How's yeah, the show been? Yeah, very good. Oh, well, I personally think this is the better show because you get to see the mechanics and the yeah. joy of the engineering of the own, and it's less hectic. hectic. Yeah, yeah. So you actually, actually have a dialogue with people as opposed to keep looking around because people are yeah, rushing all over the place in the November show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, and there's a beautiful example. I've just filmed that one, oh, but I've got a question for you. This one over here looks interesting because although it's black, it's got, do, 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 which is... Yeah, no, that is... Is it a... It is one of only two Le Mans that they sprayed black at the time. Hey, right. that's cool though. Come on, let's have a look around that. Come on. Because, as you know, the Le Mans, when it was produced, was in those colours. Yes, yes. Well, this one was spray black. I mean, that is very, very cool. And you say that's one, one of two? Of the decals of the Le Mans. I mean, it's so subtle. You could walk past that and not see it. How many people have walked past that and not seen it this weekend? But now, thanks to our Tim's YouTube, Everyone's seen it in the world. No, well that, that is lovely. People recognise that. But isn't the story that they couldn't sell them? Yes. People didn't like them, so they, they took them back so and they re. Made 24. Yeah. To celebrate winning the Le Mans 24 hour race. Yeah. But it wasn't everybody's cup, so they couldn't sell all of them. So three of them, they re sprayed two in black, that's one, and one in blue, that we, it just doesn't exist. And of the, of the remainder, there are only 12 left. And oh. of those, only about six are in drivable good condition. No. And we hope to have most of those at the National Rally in June. Will this be there? That's up to MX5 Restore, whether they bring it. But I suspect they will. Oh, they've, they've got also to. got a Le Mans. So they've got both that one and a proper Le Mans. If you want to see, the Black Le Mans and their other Le Mans together at the MX-5 National Rally, which is when? In June. Thank you. At Compton Verney. There you go, free plug. Make sure you put something in the comments below and then I'll pass those on to the MX-5 Owners Club and then you can pass it on to them. Thank you. There we are. You're right, now let's go and doorstop Ian. Go doorstop him. And then we are going into classic car auctions, I promise. Oh, yes, he's completely distracted. I mean, what? Oh, hello. <laughs> Stick that in my teeth. <laughs> and we've already done a free plug for your show in June. Great, thank you. But, yeah, see, this yeah, is yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, seen. Go, 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 go away. Yeah, go away. <laughs> you know I like this stuff. I know you do. I'm going to leave you cleaning. Yes, but thank you. Have you been around the auction yeah, yet? Yeah, in fact, Marcus just bought one of the cars in the auction. Has he? What yeah. have you bought? Marcus. What have you bought in the auction? Uh, uh, a Mark 1 Berkeley. Yeah, Say you please. I'm very pleased. One this morning, yep. Lady Dan is very, very pleased. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now, over in there, there are two Calibras. You don't know this, but I love oh, Calibras. Yeah. You, you yeah, know yeah, this, yeah, yeah. right? So there are two Calibras. Have they, they sold? They... I don't know yet. There is a black Ellie, which is the last edition right. turbo, 50 built, lovely. Yep. But they want 20 grand for it. Ooh. There is, however, tucked away, a really early, and you know what we're like. We love early stuff. A really early white H-Reg Calibra. Two litre 16 valve, while well, the first with a red top in it. Yep. Guess the mileage. 16,000? 33,000. 33, and it's full of old cassettes and it's got a cassette player in it. I want to buy it just to listen to the music in it. <laughs> Probably from 1901. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 
Brilliant. So you've had a good show? Yes, brilliant. I'm back here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so anyone watching this on YouTube on Saturday night, well done. You found the video brilliant. If you're watching it later on, then I came back the day after. But I'm coming back tomorrow with we won with LED. Oh my, my. Right. So I'm yeah. going to bring her up here. Into the world of cars. Yes, she likes cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm she sure does. she does. She does. Right, look at this for a prop. I mean, you're polishing a blue bonnet on a blue carpet. That's why we're all standing around here. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then, class car auctions, let's go. Let's have a wander round. There, I'm going to show you those two Cleavers that I mentioned earlier. There is also one of Jeremy Clarkson's cars in here. That is coming up right at the very end of the video, but first, let's have a look around. Hey, I like this. Look, they've still, I saw this on Thursday. Look, to start, foot on accelerator, two floor, lift off, turn key, that. Ooh. Isn't that a lovely thing? That's a great selection. If I could have a garage, change that a warehouse if i could have a warehouse this is probably what it would end up looking like just full of like i mean these are great value now db7s look at that have these started climbing in value yet please let me know in the comments i think db9s are well on the way oh my look Oof. 500 sl look at that So 80s and lovely. And then, literally sat right behind it, Rover. Full on jam sandwich with a light bar. What a wonderful thing that is. S2000, look at that. Who'd have thought that these are starting to come clap? Man, that, that is 20 years old. Can you believe 20 years old? Doesn't look it though, does it? Probably one of the most reliable 20 year old cars going, wouldn't you say? Ooh. I saw this. Look at this. 2002 BMW. Such a lovely, pretty little thing. How delicate that is. This, yep, yeah, I'd have this in the collection. I have a soft spot for these as well. I don't know what it is. I quite like boxy things, I guess. Anything that reminds me of the 90s. I know this is technically late 80s. Yes, and it's even got lights on the front. Ooh, Cleo Williams next door. Let's go and have a look. Got the right wheels on, although it is missing the little silver lip. Interior looks pretty nice. And this one is a phase three. So you may know. I reckon 10 to 12. That's not bad for a Williams. Very cool. And then sat right next to. Not Metro Turbo. How many speakers are in there? Would you like some music? Yes. Oh, yes. That, ooh, Coupe 2. That is so good. Look at that. Can't look, look at the, look at that body relationship there. That is so lovely. That looks like it's had a body chop. Love that. And then, yes. Now, earlier in the video, if you didn't see it, I think I found, I haven't told you about this, have I? But I think I have found the ultimate Granada estate at this show. No. Love it. Right, let's keep going. Woo! Look at this. Talk about motorsport, look at that. Talk about motorsport. Cling, straight in. Now that's cool. Look in there. It's got all the old timing. Look at look inside here. Little clocks. Yeah, it's got all the yeah. old timing gear. That's fantastic. <laughs> what colour would you have? You can have a green one or a purple one or red one. Yes, 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 yes. Eight to ten thousand pounds buys you this wonderful little thing. Now if you were gonna get into classic cars, is there a better classic car? You tell me. Ooh, look at these. So look, the earlier ones here with the, you see? The external door hinges, those are lovely. Look at that, that's a proper old school little Leyland, that. Should I get something like that, have it branded up in our team for all of the gear that I cart around? That'd be cool, lads, wouldn't it? Like that. Now, down this way, it is hidden 
just down here, there's all the Range Rovers. Ooh, look, lovely Corvette. Ooh. I do like that shape Corvette. That is very, very cool. Now, there it is. Just hidden behind the Subaru. That's this lovely little Renault. Here it is. Look at this. Now, if you bought this in the auction, please get in touch because I want to do a video on this with you. This is H860 BBB. Now, we were, we were gawping over this on Thursday. Remind, what's the, what, what's the yellow? What's Zybart. it? Zybart. It's like a, a wax oil we used to use. So this is an early Calibra on a H with that iconic red top engine, which is what killed most when people wanted that. It's got these. When was the last time you saw the jets? It's got the stickers on there. Let's keep going. Here, look at this. You see this? That, that little bit there. Early ones, they put tape on there because when you shut the bonnet, you could see the paint underneath there. You can see, look, all the bolts are absolutely original. All the headlights and three wings. It's got inside, look, can you see this? Old screw adjusts on there. Early distributor. Yeah. Early, the, the middle XA engine. The, this one was not the 20 XA engine, this was the catalytic. 20 XE engine, which is the C20 XE engine. Right. The later ones had the coil pack, which was the LN, which is the low noise. Yeah. So that's the three engines you've got. There. So this is the mid of the three. But look down here, look. Original look. stickers. Wow, look, original stickers, but look right down there. Rich, stand out the way of the lot for a second, will you? Straight down there, I don't know if you can see it. Do you want some light? No, it's fine. Down in there, if you can just about see it, it's got its under trays. So many under trays when they were taken off the service and just thrown away. And then look in here. Cloth seats, unblown door cards, both sides. It's got cassette player and inside it's full of cassettes. Even in here, look, the cassettes are there. Oh, my, I want to buy this car, Rich. Oh, my days. Oh, I forgot one more thing under the bonnet. Look, it's got... Look, it's even got an under bonnet light. Oh, Rich. That is mega, isn't it? Absolutely mega. That, that is just wicked. Let's go and find out when that's going through the auction. Ooh, camper vans. Some of you may remember Lil. Lil is still here with me, still down in Wales. Lovely bay window with a Westphalia roof. Some splitties too. These made a glorious noise when they were shunting them round. Look, look at the Alpina. Oh, wow. And it's a proper lovely colour. Look at the inside of that. I know that's not to everyone's taste now, like that wood veneer, but oosh. Early 2000s, that would have been a low one. Now, let's keep going down. Around here, because just here, many of you will recognise this. This is the Calibra LE. This one is sat on 75,000 miles. And you know what? It's pretty good, this car. It is pretty good. It's got dealer fit headlamp guards, which my SE5's got. SE5, same colour, pretty much same spec as this, apart from all the running gear. Inside, cream leather, 75,000 miles. There's a few marks on the outside of it, but nothing a good moth wouldn't sort out. It is lovely. And look at this inside. You know I love period details. You'd have to get that working, wouldn't you? And then finally, of course, the engine that so many people wanted, still wanted now actually, is that seat 20 left. Right, final place to stop. I said we'd look at one final car to round off the video. And this one, you may recognise, from a certain motoring TV show, driven by one Mr Clarkson. Missing, <laughs> missing a few bulbs and bits this side, but, God, oh, blimey.
isn't it just awful? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's to someone's taste. I'm pretty sure this came over from, uh, from Japan. 12 to 15 grand. Wow. Wow. There we are, guys. That is a run through of the Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show here at the NEC 2024. Now, coming up for the rest of this year, I am doing, I think it's 17 or 18 different shows. So please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you like your classic cars and your car shows because I publish videos from all of them on the same day as the show itself. So plenty of content coming up. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video enough to hit that subscribe button. Also, please do hit that like button. That really helps this channel grow and this video reach more people. What I was that say is thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you again soon. The engine is too hot. Have I, have I told you this story? Listen to this, right? So one of my friends, a photographer, goes out to Italy to photograph a, a boat, a yacht. A little Italian man built it, and he gets there, and this thing isn't even... Shut up. Isn't even, <laughs> isn't even seaworthy, let alone good enough to photograph, right? And this little man doesn't speak a word of English. And the photographer's like, I'm not going to tell him that I can't do this. He goes, um, um, uh, problem? He goes, yeah, the, the boat's not good enough. We, we can't do the shoot. You know, it's not yeah. good enough. The little Italian man stops, looks over at the boat, turns back to him and goes, for me, it's okay. <laughs>